friends should've known, man, I still go Go, 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 go Hello, beautiful creatures! Welcome to the Oracle of Lilith. My name's Amy, and I'm so glad to have you. I hope you're doing well. Today, we're going to find out all about your secret hater. So this should be a really insightful reading. Um, these types of readings, I, I do these because I think they help empower people to know what's going on in their environment and to make better decisions about what's in their best interest. So if you are new to my channel, hi, hello, how are you? It's so good to have you. I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel and becoming a member of my tribe. If you're a returning subscriber, hey guys, what is up? How are you? It's always good to connect with your energy, and I truly appreciate you being here. Okay, so keep in mind these are general readings. This is a general session. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I do offer personal and private readings and sessions. All that information and my social media is down in the description box below. Okay, so I'm going to be pulling each one of these piles as I go. And at the end of each group, I'm going to get letters and charms. So we'll find out more details about your, um, your secret hater. So... The psychic linking objects are going to be these um, these cards from the Cthulhu Tarot, which I love this tarot deck. The only thing about it I don't like is that the uh, sweet decks are very plain. And um, yeah, so I don't use it as often as I do other decks, but I do find like uh, the Major Arcana and um, the... The more royal cards are very insightful, so I like to use those. Okay, so the first one's going to be the devil. And I'll give you a little close-up of this energy. The second group is going to be the magus. And the third group is the tower intense card who is your secret hater all right so i will insert a little video with some backing music to uh, let you guys kind of chill out and see which group or which groups you're drawn to if you're drawn to more than one there's probably more than one message for you and you might have more than one hater so all right guys i will see you beautiful magical creatures on the other side bye guys even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, 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 go Slow, you can still go Even when there's 
no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, 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 go Hey group one, all of you that selected the devil from the Cthulhu Tarot, this is going to be your reading all about who is your secret hater. Okay, I'm getting confusion from this card. Someone's very confused. I think you may have acted in a way that confused them, something you've done, a decision you've made, scared, peeked out as I was uh, shuffling the cards. Um, so did smart ass. <laughs> so I'm going to get some channel messages first. Ooh, these popped out. These popped out. Let me get these. One of them dropped. Let me get it. Okay. Uh, we have lots of money. We have possessive. Okay. Let me get a couple more cards here. This is weird. This is a weird energy. They're confused. They feel very possessive of you. Um, and there has been, they're, have, they're struggling with their money. This is someone who may be struggling with money. Or they feel like you've cost them some money on some level. Uh, but that's not for everyone. Be sure to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Okay, we have people plotting. Okay, so they're plotting about something. Uh, beauty fades. Okay, I think you're very attractive. And uh, they're jealous here. We have Facebook. This may be on Facebook. It may have something to do with Facebook. We have Cheater. Okay. <laughs> and we have Forgotten. Who is your secret hater? Wow. I think this person may know you online. Um, and, and you may also know them in real life. I feel, I'm picking up on a couple of energies here. So uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Take the pieces of the puzzle that align for you, okay? First of all, I'm feeling an energy of possessive, um, also a cheater energy. So I feel like the possessive person could be um, attached to this loss of money. Um, I'm feeling the cheater energy, possessive cheater energy feels forgotten. Maybe you're feeling forgotten by this person and beauty fades. Someone's jealous here. It almost feels like a third party with the cheater energy here. Like someone's jealous of you. Um, and they may be, con yeah, I'm feeling like they're connected to um, either a person you're dating or you have dated or a, um, a person you've hooked up with or you're interested in, this is a third party who may not be with that person anymore, okay? Um, but they feel possessive. They're judging how you look. They're talking about how you look to people. This may be on Facebook um, where they're connecting with people in their social group or your social group. I also feel like there is a loss of money here. This could be a boss. It could be a family member. It, it has something to do with money. They feel like you've cost them money, you're wasting money, a lot of judgment on that. Now, the people plotting feels uh, connected to the cheater energy. It also feels connected to this loss of money energy, but that we also have someone who's hating on the way you look. So, you know what? There's just a lot of secret hateful energy going on. And you know what? It, it's just, it's in the air right now, okay? People are getting stirred up with all the, the uh, retrogrades and the, the powerful placements um, that are going on astrologically. And people are getting triggered. They're getting highly triggered by others. And um, it's bringing up a lot of deep, secret emotions. And people are acting on those deep, secret emotions uh, instead of uh, taking time to I'm seeing the word impulsive. So someone feels very impulsive here. Maybe they feel like um, if this is a third party situation, this person sending you hate um, and jealous of how you look, they feel like um, you have taken advantage of a situation. They feel very possessive of the person you're with, the person you're talking to. Um, 
And honestly, if they could get them to hook up with them, they would, and then they would send you receipts of it. So um, some of them have been trying to talk to your person, um, and maybe your person hasn't told you, because to your person, it isn't a big deal. They're not, but boy, they're jealous. Oh my gosh, they're jealous. They're so jealous. Okay, I have magic mirror, self-care, reflect, inner work. I think that's your energy. You know, you've been working on yourself. Um, and this is going to cause jealousy, okay? It's just, it's part of the game. It's part of life, you know. Um, yeah, we just have to understand that when you're working on yourself, you're going you're gonna to stir up some negative energy in people. You're going to catalyst people. Because instead of them working on themselves, they're busy looking at you. Yeah, I keep seeing beauty fades, beauty fades, beauty fades. And you know what? I feel like for some of you, this won't be for all of you. But for some of you, there's been some kind of spell cast against your person or against your relationship, hoping that the person that they want, and this could be you, they could be wanting you and wanting this person. It, it, it feels very different. There's a lot of energy in group one, okay? Um, but I feel like they have may have cast something. Some of them have so that the person can see that you're not as beautiful as what you appear. I, it's, it's a weird energy. It's very possessive. And I don't think your person necessarily knows this person well, okay? If this is not a person, your person, then this is like has to do with money, family, friend. And I do feel people plotting about this loss of money. Like they want their money. They want their money. For some of you, they feel it's a boss who, who thinks you've stolen and um, stolen time, uh, actually literally stolen, watch out for that energy, okay? Just if that, if that resonates for you, watch out for that energy. We have witch, insight, magic, power, okay? So that's the energy I was feeling about magic cast here. You can't see all the cards, I'm sorry. I'm trying to fit them all in, it's a little hard. So, okay, all right. Uh, we have vampire, give, take, draining, lasting. Okay. So definitely there's an energy here of someone draining your energy. Um, and it could be this, this hateful energy that I'm feeling about money. Uh, and I feel like for some of you, they, they actually, you know, I feel a magic, a lot of magic in group one. And I'm feeling like for some of you, someone has cast against you for you to have a loss of money. Ooh, what a hateful bitch. What a hateful bitch, you guys. Um, this is someone who's extremely jealous of uh, where you are in life. Perhaps you're really starting to achieve. Perhaps it's you and your person. And it may be someone who has just cast something against you or sending you hate that is so intense and so focused. It feels like it could be the evil eye if you know this person in real life. Uh, for loss of money, for you to lose money, for you to lose beauty, for you to lose this person you're with, for you to be alone. And this person feels weirdly possessive, almost like you know them. So if it's a third party, you may know this person, okay? Um, if it's family, friends, of course you know them. And they feel possessive of you. And they also are upset and confused about some decisions you've made. If it's the love situation, the third party is confused about why your person chose you. <laughs> Boy, this is a hateful person, you guys. Um, you know, if you do protections, be sure you're protected. Return this shit to sender. Um, put up a fiery wall of protection. Whatever you need to do, do some warding, do some prayers, call in your archangels. Whatever resonates for you. This one tried to pop, so let's take it. We have tomorrow for today. I'm feeling Gemini energy here, air. This could be a Libra. It could be an Aquarius. Let me get some more energy from this deck here. Okay, we have parasite, yeah, that draining energy. Some of you guys feel this person as a parasite. They may be trying to drain the life out of your relationship, a perchance to dream. Okay, for some of you, they're trying to come through your dreams. Um, you may be having nightmares of losing this person or loss of some kind. You may have nightmares of falling, dreams of falling, um, dreams of... Um, like I'm seeing like dreams of death here. Uh, they're trying to get your energy into a lower frequency. Okay, so your relationship falls apart, your money falls apart. Um, if this is family or friend, I don't necessarily feel it's spell work. I feel it's more like sitting around and talking about you, gossip. Um, 
and that energy kind of because whoever's doing this has some ability okay be it they just talk about negatively about people and negative things happen and they're hoping that happens for you for some of you guys this is this is a third party situation with a, a a single parent situation so the the other parent of your child um, and this is like a grandmother um, an auntie a family friend someone who's in close proximity to what has happened and they want you to go away and you may be asking for money of course there's always money involved with children and they feel like you're asking for too money um, and uh, they're actually trying to drain you if you see this person on a regular basis uh, be sure to you know protect yourself don't tell them too much because they're listening and they're sitting around and talking about you with other people okay can i get one more card here that one popped completely out of my hand we have the morgaine weaver of fate antipathy introspection opposition yeah i feel like um whoever this is is trying to flare up opposition against you so um if this is like a love situation where it's third party they're talking about you trying to get because i feel like this third party and your person may have some kind of social group together okay and they they are actively trying to talk about you even though i feel like you you may not even know this third party uh, they're actively trying to talk about you to stir up negativity within people to kind of use that energy siphon vampire that energy uh against you to send it to you right um if this is in the family again they are um it almost feels like a possessive energy that has turned controlling uh because I feel like there's parasitic energy. They're watching you. They're paying attention. And um, for some of you, this is, this is intense, okay? I'm just going to tell you what I'm getting. I feel like some of them want you to lose your kid, like lose custody, okay? Uh, we have Morgan Le Fay, the Witch of Ages, Atonement, Growth, and Deceit. Okay, so there is an issue here with cheating and also lying, Okay, so I feel like if this is a single parent situation, be cautious of the other parent because they're being unduly influenced by this third party. Okay, and basically what I'm getting is a third party is taking situations and twisting them to get the person, the other parent of your child, in a kind of a poison state of mind where they're just kind of poisoned against you uh where i think for some of you at one time there was a, an agreement about money and all of a sudden out of the blue now the person's saying that's too much money you don't need that much money it doesn't take that much money to raise a kid know that a lot of that is coming from outside influences from family and friends okay that's why the sudden change if that happens or if that's happening right now um, now your person I feel like if this is love I feel like you and your person are very protective protected I don't feel like your person is gonna act upon this okay but I do think that I'm getting a scenario where maybe your um, person lives in kind of a small town or some kind of community. They're involved in some kind of community. This person knows them. They may know them in real life as well. And they're just trying to kick up gossip. So they're kind of lying a little bit. They're lying about the strength of their relationship with your person. Okay. Um, and if this is like a jealous friend or something like that, they, they're jealous of your relationship if you're in one. If you're not, they're jealous of your beauty. And they're, they're hoping that it fades. <laughs> wow. It's just, I'm not laughing at the situation. It's just this particular group has so much hate coming towards you. It's just intense. And many of these different stories that I have brought forward that, that spirit has been bringing forward may resonate for you. I feel like you may be getting a lot of hate right now. And for many of you, it's coming from online. Okay. Author, champion of... I. Avalon, companionship, nobility, self-realization. Here's the thing about this secret hater society that's going on for group one, is you are very underestimated. I think you have a very kind disposition. I think you're a very warm person. And because of that, people think you're weak. And that is not true. <laughs> that is not true. Um, often underestimated and never duplicated, right? So I feel like um, you give people the sense of um, safety, like you're harmless. That is part of your power is you 
disarm people with your kindness. And if they fuck you over, <laughs> then all hell breaks loose, okay? So I think you're very um, giving with people. I And I think that's why it's so easy to hate on you because I feel like you're very attractive. I feel like you have the potential to be very successful and it's like an aura that's growing around you because you've grown into this champion. You're a champion of self. There's self-realization here. You handle yourself with a kind of regal elegance, even through the darkest times. Uh, you make it look easy. What you've done, what you're accomplishing, what you're working on, whatever this is, a glow up outwardly, inwardly, whatever it is, you have made it look easy and it makes people hate you. It makes people wish you to fail. Some people root for the underdog and some people want to un unalive the underdog. You know, it's just, it, and this is like, you have like a hater fan club, you guys, <laughs> you know, but you know what? When the haters show up, oops, I dropped that. Um, when the haters show up, that is a sign that you're on the right track, okay? Because you're you are catalysting people. You are making people feel uncomfortable with themselves, like they're not enough. And sometimes we need a mirror. I had to bend over and get this. Sometimes we need a mirror to show us that we can be more. And these people should be working on themselves to strive for more. Okay, this is the card that I got that fell off the table. Caution. Okay, so what I'm getting here is with all this hateful energy around you, you need to be real cautious about what you tell people, especially if this ha involves money and children, things like that, okay? Because you have people plotting. So I feel like this is really important. If you have a child involved in this, there are people plotting to pay you less money for you to get less money. If you're going through a divorce or something like that, there's people plotting. There's, there, there is energy behind the other person involved that's trying to get them to kind of turn a little bit, um, not in your favor. But what they don't realize is that you're highly protected, Okay, uh, that's how you got this far. That's how you've overcome so much, just because you are highly protective. You have a lot of ancestors around you. I just did an ancestor reading that might have some powerful information for you about kind of how to arm yourself, how to proceed in this situation. And I feel like if this is love, you just need to be cautious about who you talk to, especially online, um, and be cautious about the gossip that you listen to. Be aware that people are talking about you. If you post online, uh, be aware that this person is probably watching your stuff. Uh, they may be giving you thumbs down. They may be sending you trolling comments. Um, they may be saying things like, oh, go watch what they posted. They're crazy, that kind of thing. And, you know, um, Going after someone's mental health is, is one of the lowest things you can do. And I feel like this person likes to kick that around a little bit. Okay, so be cautious about how you handle yourselves. And I'm not saying to stop posting or to filter yourself. I'm saying to be aware of what you're posting. Be aware of what you're saying online. Okay, that's all. I'm going to get this top card. We have fortify. Okay, you guys, again... Caution and fortify. I feel like it. you need to do, clear your energy, clear your home, clear your internet space. Some of you guys need to disconnect on a regular basis from the internet um, because I feel like for a, a ma not majority, but a, a big percentage of you, that's where it's coming from. Okay. And uh, if you pray, pray. If you chant, chant. If you witch, witch. Whatever it is you do to help clear your energy and protect yourself. And I feel like you need to be more protective of your money. Okay? You may be talking to this person about your money. Stop. Stop talking about how much you're making or how much you're not making or your lack or anything like that. Just stop talking about it. And and pay attention to what happens. I feel like there'll be someone who, if this resonates for you, you'll get questions thrown at you because they're trying to dig for information about that. And some of them are very possessive about the child and it's turned into a controlling energy. We have onion tears. Okay. What I'm getting with that is that, ooh, someone is, has been crying over you. Okay, and I feel like for some of you guys, it's this magical energy here that's throwing things. They use, they have used the power of their sorrow to kind of, um, to kind of 
inflame the ritual or the whatever they did um and the thing is is that you are a friend of sorrow you know all about it because you've been there and sorrow isn't going to turn on you once you've dealt with your sorrow and i feel like you have it doesn't mean you don't have more right? we all have sorrow you know um but i feel like sorrow isn't something scary to you sorrow is kind of part of your life you've experienced it and it's almost like a friend like it's a familiar energy so and i feel like when you start feeling sad when you start feeling teary-eyed it could be this energy from outside yourself um and it and I'm feeling like creeping into the doubts about yourself, creeping into the doubts. It's like they're trying to use your beauty and your self-awareness and your power against you. Uh, it's a very complex kind of energy. So when you start having doubts about yourself, clear your energy. When you start feeling sad, clear your energy. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't feel sad or have that doubts, but it will give you clarity on if that's coming from outside yourself or within yourself if it's coming from within yourself then of course there's there's things for you to heal we always have things to heal okay but the power to discern what's being sent to you as hate um as grief and things like that and what is coming from within you within a program within yourself that you need to heal you know that's a very powerful thing and i feel like for many of you that's part of this hateful energy coming forward. It's you picking up on discernment. I have been picking up on this energy for several readings where people are getting the opportunity to sharpen their intuition and their ability to discern the people in their life and the people around them and even people that they know through other people, people's energy that is connecting through, you know, your person, your family and things like that. And it feels like that's what's going on here. Okay, let's get some initials or letters and some charms for you. Okay, group one, these are going to be your letters and your charms. Um, first of all, before I go through the letters, I want to tell you what I'm picking up on as I was going through them. Um, I feel like for some of you, uh, this energy is gossiping about you, about your medication. Uh, for many of you, they're telling people you're an addict, you're overusing something, or you're on a lot of medication for mental illness. Just a lot of talk about your body, your health, your vessel, um, and how that use is going to fade your beauty, your attraction. It's just a really nasty judgmental energy that's really trying to pull on people's um, their most deepest like judgments of themselves and others to bring through a really negative vibe around you so um, let's go through the letters now we have P I L X X T T V A D E S J L K J F B U O M U. Okay, I'm feeling like they're also talking about how you dress, how you fix your hair, how you carry yourself. Um, and I feel like they're, again, I'm being pulled back to the beginning of this reading where we talked about people being confused. I think that you've gone through some kind of transformation here. Um, and uh, I feel like they have definitely seen it. It's, it's, I feel like you've changed how you look in some kind of way and it's caused people to take notice of you. <laughs> there is the vampire teeth. Um, and uh, it's caused, it's stirred up a lot of parasitic energy, okay? A lot of e energy of judgment. Um, and uh, at times you may get caught up in this because you're feeling it. But we have the pumpkin here, the jack-o'-lantern, protect yourself. And this has come up in several readings. And it's weird because I've never talked about it before. But uh, pumpkins can be used for protection. And I, I do think we have the skull here. You have definitely gone through some kind of transformation. You're going through it right now. But I do think there's someone that is secretly hating on you that is sending you. They're trying to trap you in something. This won't resonate for everybody. It may have to do with money here. Um, it's like they're trying to get over on you. And if there's a child involved in this, it's like they're not thinking about it. And it feels weird because this is somebody who should be caring about the welfare of a child. And instead, they're caring about getting over on you. Um, and I feel like there may be some energy of Earth here, Capricorn, Taurus, um, Virgo. I'm feeling Taurus and Capricorn very strongly. We have Leo here, this little cat. I feel like um, there's a harvest coming 
coming for you. We have a jack-o'-lantern. We have the pumpkin. Um, there's a harvest coming for you. And I feel like you're sitting in a seat of power. You may not realize it, but there is a lot of energy about you that is very powerful. You have very powerful ancestors hanging around, okay? Um, and I do feel like you have a, a spirit of um, a deceased loved one. For some of you, this won't resonate for everybody. They've passed in the last five years. And they are around you, and they're trying to help you through this situation because they see that people are plotting on you. It feels very unfair. It feels like they're trying to take advantage of your good nature. Guard, I'm getting from your ancestors, like, guard what you say from this ancestor. This could be a grandmother. It could be a great-grandmother. It feels maternal, but there's a few grandfathers here. It also feels native as well. This could be a Native American um, or an indigenous a people of the earth. I can't say it <laughs> because of my dentures. The people of the earth energy. So an ancestor from the people of the earth. I consider these the native tribes, the native people of the planet, um, the more primal energy. And I'm, I'm seeing this energy of like fight. Don't let them get over on you. Fight for this because it feels like whatever, if for those of you who this resonates, this is a very pivotal point. If you let them get by with this, it's going to get worse. Okay, so you have to stand your ground. Stand, and I said this in another reading, stand in your seat of power, okay? Um, and what I get with that when I say stand in your seat of power is take action from your seat of power, your powerful place. So whatever makes you powerful. Uh, and I feel like you guys need to um, reflect on how far you've come. It will help you fortify yourself and understand how strong you are, okay? Uh, and some of you guys need to bubble yourself, bubble your family, your kid, bubble your house. This will help protect your energy. But bubbling, I mean just envision a white, it could be whatever color you want. Color, it, color meanings, I feel like, are very individual for the most part when it comes to this kind of work. You just want to envision, I'm going to say, a white or golden or rainbow energy around yourself, around your kids, around your house of protection, of clarity. Um, and some of you guys need to... Uh, Refresh your wards. Um, it will help with this as well. And for some of you, I'm getting like, there's a whole process you can do with mirrors. Place a mirror in each corner of like your property, your house, your apartment, um, north, east, south, west. Uh, and when you do this, have the intention that this is going to reflect back all the hateful, negative, hexing, cursing, bad intentions energy. Okay. And have that kind of... Um, Connect with your bubble if you want to. Do prayer. Call in Archangel Michael if you resonate with angels. Um, and I just feel like all this energy is around you to help you, but you have to ask for their help in this situation. I do feel like justice will be done, whether this is something with you know a family, a single parent situation, or this is in love, or this is a friend who's highly jealous. I feel like justice will be done here with the secret hater. Um, and I feel like you're going to know. Clear your energy. Clear your energy often. Use Palo Santo. If they come into your house, use sage. If, if you feel aligned with that, Palo Santo, uh, blood, um, dragon's blood, that kind of thing. Clear it before they come in. And then fill the energy. Uh, and if they come in your door and you've cleared it and they don't feel good, that's a sign. That's a sign. Okay. Oh, I got a headache. Oh, my stomach hurts. Oh, you know, I got to go. I got to go. Maybe they usually stay and they're like, I got to go. I got to go. That is a sign. Okay. All right, group one. That's what I got for you. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll see you beautiful, magical creatures next time. Bye guys. Hey group two, all of you that were drawn to the Magus, this is going to be your reading all about who is secretly hating on you. Um, keep in mind this is a general reading, it's a general session. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. This feels masculine in, nat in nature, that that's not gender. So I feel like there is a masculine type energy that is hating on you secretly. Um, I'm feeling jealousy here. This could be a, a friend of someone who you have a relationship with. could be a best friend. It also could be a partner. Okay, tell me more about the secret hater. Tell me more about the secret hater. Hex energy um, peaked out. Bad luck. Tell me more about the secret hater. 
tough. I think you're very tough. I think this person thinks they're really tough. <laughs> yeah, I think they have a really big head about themselves. Okay. Um, that's one. Okay, I'm going to get this one here. Let me scoot up. This one here. I'm feeling this one and this one. I'm going to get four of these. Let's go ahead and pull some cards. We'll go ahead and do some shuffling and pull, pull some cards, then we'll flip them over. I do every stack a little different, so... Um, Okay, tell me about the secret hater for group two. This person feels very selfish and self-centered. Um, they feel very shallow. And um, it feels like jealousy, envy. They feel greedy as well. Uh, this could be a coworker. For some of you, it's family, um, but not many of you. Not many of you. Okay, okay, they want me to save that one. All right, let's go ahead and get these and see what we have going on. And then I'll pull from the Halloween Oracle. All right, okay, channel messages, how seductive you are. Okay, I, you guys may not realize it, but this person thinks you're very seductive. This may be somebody you have rejected as well. Um, in person, I'm seeing someone ask someone for like their number and saying no. Um, someone actually may be declaring their attraction to you or love for you or want to hook up with you online and you're like, I, no, I'm not interested in that. Scared? They're scared of you or they want to make you afraid. Sagittarius, we have rejection <laughs> and we have Sagittarius. They may be a fire sign. That could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. We have keeper of whispers, the mad prophet. Curiosity, madness, forbidden knowledge. Okay, I don't think they have any forbidden knowledge on you. What I'm getting here is um, that they're not balanced. This is someone who is completely not stable. Okay, they may have um, some bipolar issues that are not being managed uh, through care. Um, this person may just have a intense obsession with you and I feel some of you guys like, Amy, come on. <laughs> no, really. Okay. It's a secret hater. All right. This is someone who was rejected by you and it's like they're still attracted to you and they hate you for rejecting them. Okay. We have the leper king, sword of law, bravery, self-discipline, and faith. Okay. I feel like this is your energy or for some of you, this is the energy they try to project and Beneath it is the keeper of whispers, is the mad prophet. Okay, we have the thinker, the father of knowledge, knowledge, instruction, reinvention. I think this person is a know-it-all, too. I think they're overly confident. Um, I think they think they're better, bigger, more intelligent, more attractive than other people. And they are outraged that you have rejected them. This feels like an, a rejected attempted suitor kind of thing and they you may have moved on and been like okay whatever it might have been like a, a momentary thing where you're like I'm not interested this person is really brooding about it okay they are thinking about it if this is online they have downloaded your pictures if they know you in person they have found your online uh, social media whatever this is um, if this is in person I feel like you need to be careful um, if you can legally carry mace, you should. Don't go out uh, to your car by yourself, get in a security guard. I'm not saying anything bad is going to happen, but you need to be more cautious if this is in person because I feel the power of this obsession of this magus is intense, okay? And they aren't, if they have like mental issues, they are not being treated right now. So you also have to take that into mind. You might be like, why would somebody go out of their way to like do this? I barely know this person. Well, that may be true, but you also have to understand this person's mental and emotional space is not well balanced. They're not thinking like themselves. I feel like this person almost is acting out of character for some of them. We have the colorless angel. Yeah. Um, and I feel like this is depression. This is uh, the rejection energy. It's like they, they really believe that you guys are meant for each other. Um, and because of your rejection, it's totally like drained the life out of them. And it has, uh, 
it's almost like they were triggered into a manic episode or an episode of almost like psychosis for some of them. And um, it's just important that if you know this person, this only applies if you know this person in life and you know who I'm talking about, okay? If you do, then just be more cautious um, about how you handle yourself. I'm, I'm hearing like for the next like six weeks or so, um, I feel like this person is on the edge of getting some help. Um, if this is online, just be aware that that trolling energy that you get that's kind of wacky and crazy, that might be them under a fake name. Um, and, you know, not telling you to stop what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. I don't think you really did anything, okay? I, I really don't. I think this person has a lot of problems. And because of that, um, it's almost like, you're the scapegoat in their life. Like you're the focus because they still want you. They still want you. So you may have somebody who approaches you again or says something to you again. And if you feel weird, you know, delete it or don't answer it. Okay. It's obsessive energy. We have magic mushrooms, escape, dream, travel. Okay. So and I, I'm feeling like this person would like, feels like you're an escape. Like um, there's something about you that, they feel like it helps them relax. This is this is kind of the twisted thinking, but actually your energy is catalysting them. It's stirring them up and they feel a lot of anxiety here. And um, I feel like they dream about you. They are so obsessed with your energy. This is an obsessive person and it may make you afraid, okay? But this is part of kind of you coming out to the world, like you being who you are, you shining more, you know, it stirs up this energy in other people. And for some of you, this is a past life connection. This person is being sent down this particular pathway because there are some things they need to get help with. And this is the catalyst for it. Okay. Um, and I feel like for many of you, this person's going to get some help or some insight soon. That's going to help cool off this energy. The Book of Shadows, Messages, Magic, Manifestation, or Manifesting. And I feel like for some of you guys, this person's involved in magic. They're involved in like the craft or something like that. Some of them have, um, it, it's, it's hard to explain what I'm feeling here because it is so, it's such a bizarre feeling. But it's almost like the more they've done the magic, the more their instability is coming forward. And the reason why that's happening is because their guides want them to get help. Okay, help for their suffering. Because this mad prophet is suffering. And on some level, they think it is because you rejected them. This is someone who doesn't take rejection well. Um, and they're very disassociated from their true emotions. And I feel like you guys need to do more, more protection. That came for, through for group one. You guys definitely do. Um, and if anyone asks, acts weird with you online, report them, delete them, do not interact with them. Okay. You may be, you may be tired. If you ha are having some trolling, you may be getting tired of it. But um, in this case, with this energy, I feel like it's best to kind of ignore it. Okay, because if you interact with it, if, if this person figures out they've got your attention, um, they're going to get worse to get more attention from you. And then they may create another account to act like uh, a person you can talk to. This is someone wearing different masks. I'm feeling the mushrooms as masks, as like they're put, putting on different masks to try to almost trap you or ensnare you in a web to get you to talk to them, to get you to open up. And I feel like if this is online, this, this energy will fade. I feel like on both sides of this, like six weeks, this energy is going to fade. But it's really important that you, um, you know, you keep your boundaries, and you be cautious about the way you act in the world. Um, be more aware of the people around you. Um, and if you know this person in life, again, just be aware of your environment. Be more careful about your person. Listen, we all should be more careful going out to our cars at night, you know, by ourselves. We all should be more uh, careful about people who come into our energy and seem to be aggressive and hateful or manipulative. That's something that everyone can benefit from.
okay? But for you guys, I feel like the secret hater energy is obsessive. And I do feel like there's some stalking energy here online. Um, and for a few of you, and that's why I'm continuing to talk about it, for a few of you, this is in person, okay? And I know that's unsettling. I'm just telling you what I'm getting. Your ancestors are coming forward, your guides, your god forms. I'm getting Hecate. I'm getting Artemis, Persephone. Uh, I'm getting a lot of really strong, uh, dark goddess energy as well. You just need to protect yourself and be more aware of your environment, okay? We have cauldron, new ideas, work, creativity. All right. I feel like this is what your guides and guardians want you to focus on. I also think this could be what this person's jealous about. I think you're very attractive. You're also extremely talented at what you do. You may have a natural like psychic or magical ability here. I feel like you're very creative. You have great ideas. Um, and you may not realize it, but like you're sought after. I'm getting the word sought after. People are seeking after you. Okay. This could be in your job. It could be, you know, online. It could be in a social group. Um, but I feel like this person, okay. I feel like this person thinks you're out of their league, but they still want you and they can't believe that you rejected them. So it's a very confusing energy. All right, they're very confused because they also are like, look at me, I'm so great. I have an overinflated ego. I think I'm really great at something I suck at, but I can't believe you rejected me. And then there's this whole like, um, you know, acknowledging that you're in two different spheres, like you're just in two different places. And I think this person um, is trying to work on themselves to kind of get up to your level while they're busy hating on you. And um, they want to inspire fear in some of these messages they send to you. Um, but they're also a little bit of but afraid. It just feels like someone who's completely confused and unbalanced. And um, because of that, I feel like you just need to be more cautious. Be more protective of yourself, okay? Let's get you some letters and some charms. Okay, group two, these are going to be your letters and your charms. Now, um, while I was uh, going through your letters here, the messages that I got were that if you feel in any way uncomfortable by something that's happened in your current environment, if this is in real life, do not be afraid to call the police. Do not be afraid to call for help, okay? Uh, I don't feel like, um, you know, anything bad is going to happen. But this is really about you learning to trust your instincts about people, okay, in your environment. If this resonates as an as a an in-person kind of thing. Online, this is this is part of a side effect of a lot of the work you've done. You're glowing, okay? You're um you have this very attractive energy about you. When you start working on your manifestations, your frequency changes. And because of that, you know, you get good things coming in your life and stuff like that. But it also stirs up this other energy that um isn't always um is, isn't always balanced, okay? And so you always have to be aware of that, all right? But I do think it's going to dissipate, all right? I do think it's going to calm down. It's just going to take a little time, that's all. Okay, let's go through the letters here we have. I get Tahoe here with T-A-O-E. There may be something about Tahoe. Maybe they drive a Tahoe. Maybe you live in Tahoe. Maybe someone's name is Tahoe or something like that. I'm getting something about the Teo as well that might be a philosophy or something that you follow or something you have in common. So let's go ahead and read um, the list. For some of you guys, this person knows you in a Facebook group or something like that, okay, or Instagram. Um, all right, we have T-A-O-E-B-Z-N-E-V-W-F-B-R-G-U-D-H-M-S-T-F. K-L-S. Now that could be your initials, their initials, a name, a screen name, something you have in common. Okay, just take what resonates here and leave the rest behind. Okay, your, your guardians, your guides, your spirit guides, your ancestors, your God forms, whatever this is, I want you to know that you are highly protected. Okay, you are very protected. Um, they know that the, hearing this kind of stuff may be a little scary, but they do not want you to be afraid. Okay, because they're taking care of it. Um, and see the skull the skull with the uh, the flower in it. And I, I what I'm hearing is everything's going to come up roses. It, it's going to be fine, okay? Um, and you don't need to worry, 
All right. And I'm getting Day of the Dead energy here. I'm getting like, um, there is, a lot of you guys are just, there's just a ton of ancestors coming forward. I feel like this ancestor has been with you a long time. Some of you have just not been willing to acknowledge it or you thought you're crazy. Yes, if you saw something, it was real. Um, if you're hearing something, if you're hearing like, a relative talk to you a lot of grandmother energy is coming forward uh, just in general a lot of like powerful grandmother energy I feel like for you guys though this is a, a grandmother that goes way back in your bloodline or a past life it's a uh, matriarchal energy it's very protective it's very strong and I, I think what I'm getting here is I'm getting like the word strength like you need to be strong Put up good boundaries. I got that with group one as well. Put up good boundaries. Don't let anybody get over on you. You know who you are and your energies around you are trying to help you with your clarity. Uh, some of you guys may not, not be sure what your next move is going to be and you're just kind of waiting. And what you need to do is you need to uh, tune into your own intuition. Uh, allow those voices or messages that you keep getting that you're starting to think, hey, maybe I'm crazy or something like that. And I don't say crazy in a mean way. I have my own mental issues. So, you know, I have like depression and anxiety and CPTSD and all that stuff. So there's no judgment here. Okay, but you may feel like I'm, I'm uh, ungrounded. And what I'm getting from your ancestors is you need to ground your energy more. Um, you need to like meditate. If you meditate, you need to um, go outside and hug a tree, plant a flower, put your hands in the dirt, play with your dog, play with your kids, get in some water. Um, and I feel like for you guys, a water cleanse would be really good. I don't mean like as in health. I mean, put your body in some water with some Epsom salts and um, allow the water to, to like cleanse your aura, cleanse your system, and allow the energy of that negativity, especially this hate energy, this obsessive hate energy coming towards you, that to kind of just um, uh, go down the drain, uh, surrender that to Gaia. She will return that as healing energy. Now, some of you guys need to cut cords. Um, that will help also with your clarity. But I feel like you need to be more open to the messages that are coming in through your spirit guides, your ancestors, etc. Um, and this particularly strong matriarchal energy, I feel like she was a queen in a past life. She was a queen. This could be a queen of a country, a queen in a religion or a, a philosophical group. But she was some kind of queen and she held power and um to some people she was frightening and to others she was a mother okay and i feel like she's coming forward to help shield you so if you're being drawn to a certain god form or something like that goddess whatever this is to call in to help you in this situation feel more empowered and more protective this energy is coming forward to help protect you okay um, and those of you who that resonates with will know all right. Okay, group two, that's what I got for you. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a most beautiful day, and I'll see you beautiful magical creatures next time. Bye, guys. Hey, group three, all of you that were drawn to this this really cool tower card. It's one of the coolest tower cards I've seen in a tarot deck. This is from the Cthulhu Tarot. This is going to be a reading all about who is secretly hating on you. Now keep in mind this is a general reading. It's a general session. So take what resonates here and leave the rest behind. Okay, so let's get some uh, energy here on the table. I do feel like this is someone who you've either fought with, uh, and a lot of you have, or you're about to fight with them, okay? Um, I feel hostility here. There's been hostility exchanged. Um, let's get some channeled messages first. Okay, that one, that one, the green, and the energy of the bottom, and the pink. So you got quite a few channeled messages here. There may be more than one energy involved in this. Who is secretly hating on group three? Who is secretly hating on group three? Who is secretly hating on group three? All right. Uh, I wasn't going to flip it over, but I just did. <laughs> okay, we have snake, release, energy, health. We have ending, shock, starting over. And we have overwhelm, drama, anxiety, horror. 
Okay, let's go ahead and get those channel messages then. Cheater. Okay, we have Aries, could be a fire sign. We also have gossip. We have follows under fake name and liar. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, this is intensely uh, hateful, powerful energy. Let's get some more information about this person. Okay, so there's definitely an energy here of somebody you've fought with. Um, and for many of you, this is also someone who um, you don't realize that what happened between you affected them this intensely. For some of you guys, this may be a friendship where you have made up, but this person is still harboring negativity. Um, for you guys who you fought with this person, they made you feel like it was over and done. So you don't necessarily suspect this person, okay? Um, and this could have happened a while back, all right? It could involve your job. It could involve uh, another person. Uh, this person feels like you're a liar and a cheater. It feels like a best friend who has been, um, who feels cast aside a little bit. Someone who you may have, um, you know, told some secrets to or invested time in and something happened here and you guys had a falling out. Um, but I don't think you're aware of they're secretly still hating on you. Like this isn't over for them. It may be over for you. And for others, they've made you think that everything's fine. Everything's fine between you two. Everything's great. They've hung out with you. You've shared stories. Um, maybe you guys have gossiped about other people, but I do feel like this energy of, um, they've definitely talked about you to other people. Now I'm picking up on something that is very painful. Um, and it feels like, this won't resonate for everyone, so just take what resonates here, but it feels like for um, some of you guys, this person cheated with your person, okay? And you may not know it right now. Well, you do now because I just told you. Maybe you've been having a feeling about it, okay? And this is going to cause that tower moment. This may be a person who has been gossiping about you. All right. And uh, you don't know it. They've been talking about you and it's going to cause the tower to fall. And uh, you guys are going to get into it. We have this is this me gilded regret. And we have Brian a cage, jealousy, envy, um, spite, uh, malicious gossip. Um, definitely there's an energy here of someone lying on you as well. This could be in an online group. I've gotten online for almost every group today. Um, this could also be a friend you met on online that became like a really good friend. There's some kind of falling out here. There's jealousy. They regret what happened. They regret if this is someone who has like messed with your partner and uh, you have no idea. It's like a best friend, a good friend. I think they have a lot of regret about it. And there's been lies definitely told to you to conceal this from you. Um, and uh, I've feel like they're overwhelmed with grief over it. And um, it's weird because I feel like the grief has merged into this anger. Like if it wasn't for you, I would have this person. Like you're standing in my way kind of thing. Um, there's a lot of blame coming towards you for things not working out for this person. Jealousy isn't even here on the table really, but I feel it so strongly with the bride in the cage. I feel like this tower falls because you have, you become aware that there's somebody in your energy around you who has not had good intentions. Uh, this could be someone who has tried to get with your partner and you don't know it. Um, and it could be someone who feels overly familiar with you, but you would never suspect that they're hating on you. There's just a lot of different energies I'm picking up in group three. There is a lot of hateful energy coming towards people right now. And it has to do with the, the powerful astrological stuff that's going on. So, you know, um, I am going to pull some tarot for you guys. I haven't pulled tarot for the other groups, but I feel like for you guys, um, we need to pull some tarot. So I'm going to pull from the haunted house tarot deck. Um, I'm an intuitive reader and I read this kind of like an oracle deck. Um, so let's see what comes out here. Tell me more about group three's secret hater. Um, if they haven't been with your person, they want them very badly and they want you out of the way. So for some of you guys, they're, they're spreading rumors and gossip about you. Okay. 
For others, this is like a friend who wants to be you and they hate it because they can't be you. They will never be you, okay? Um, let's see. We have the Queen of Swords here. What I'm getting from this is that this, this is you just minding your own business, doing your thing, uh, busy, reading, concentrating on um, understanding, learning, growing. I think you're keeping, you're, you're not messing in other people's business. I think this is why it makes you an easy target for gossip, for hateful gossip, because you literally, it's not even about you staying in your lane. You don't care who else is on the highway with you. You really don't. You don't care what other people are doing. You're busy doing your thing. And people are so jealous of your whole vibe, how you just don't care what other people think. And even if you do care, you don't show it. I think you're, you're just really, it's an awesome energy I'm feeling from you. Like you are just on your life purpose into making your own life better, not concerned about other people's drama and anxiety. Um, and we have this energy here of starting over. And I feel like for, this is almost like a side message, a lot of you have been through a tower moment and you have started over. And you appear to be very strong to other people. You appear to be very attractive. You have something other people want. And if they can't have you, if they can't be your very best best friend in the world, a lot of them will hate you. It's like love and hate are very, very closely connected, okay? All right, and we have, wow, this is the high priestess, and we have the moon here, and I'm just feeling like you are so connected to not just yourself, but your spirits, the guides around you. You're very, very powerful. I don't like to use the word very so much, but um, you're extremely powerful. It's like self-empowerment, self-validation. Part of the reason why the secret hater energy is so kicked up over you is they can't rattle you. And some of them have this regret here. And I can't believe I did this. Or I can't believe I'm gossiping about this person because they can feel you growing in power and they know that you are not the one. They picked the wrong one. There you are with the seven of wands here. <laughs> this is like, bitch, get out the way. <laughs> I'm coming for you. That's what this is. That is like a fiery wall of protection. That is a uh, guards, guardian, guards, guardians, guards, spirit guides, goddesses, god forms, angelics, demonics, whatever you work with, really like having a hedge of protection around you where this gossip, this cheater, this lying, all of this energy can't touch you. And they're having a tower moment where they're like, man, I did the wrong thing. I think some of them are going to start to feel like the effects of a return to sender or your angels reflecting energy back and protecting you. And for some of you guys, this isn't the first time they've sent negative energy to you. So the return to sender uh, is going to be extremely intense. Okay, they're going to feel the karma of this energy. Look how focused. Look, just take a look at the energy in these three cards. And I, I don't think I've ever pulled. I might have pulled the high priestess, but the other two I have not pulled before uh, for a reading. This is powerful. You are extremely powerful. And the secret hater, uh, they fucked up. <laughs> they literally did. They fucked up. They picked the wrong one. And karma is coming for them. And this tower is theirs for many of them. They're going to feel the power of this tower. And it's really going to cause them to question their bad behavior. They are a gossip. They are a liar. And they're a cheater. They would cheat anyone to get ahead. But they picked the wrong one. They picked you. Okay, we have the four of pentacles. I'm feeling like they are going to feel like they are out in the cold. Like um, they're going to feel like... Uh, lack, a lot of lack, a lot of uh, disconnection. I think people are going to walk away from this energy because they know they're a liar. And how are they going to know? Because you are going to grow much more powerful and people are going to be more attracted to you. It's like your frequency becomes more clear. And as it, it becomes more clear and more strong, this gossip, lying, cheating energy cannot stand. It is eviscerated. 
by the fire, by your flame. You guys may um, have like Phoenix energy. I did a Phoenix reading um, a few weeks back that you might be interested in. It might really help you uh, with what you're going through because I literally feel this energy like catching fire. Not just catching fire, but like uh, have mercy on those who come come for me now because I know who I am. And this secret hate situation, it, it doesn't even uh, bother me. It doesn't cause any kind of worry for me because I know that my God forms, guides, spirits, whatever, I know who I am and I know that I'm powerful and I'm highly favored and highly protected. I feel that very strongly for you guys. If you're, if you're not feeling it, it's coming. Your guides are coming forward. Your ancestors are coming forward. Okay. We have the 10 of swords and they're done. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hate to laugh, but they're done. It's just like, it's, it's like, um, it's like an ant trying to throw a stone at a giant. It's just this hate is so empty. It's not going to fly. People aren't going to believe this stuff. And even if they do, once they get to know you, they're going to see like this person's lying. There's an energy of someone like watching you. Okay. They're definitely watching you. And they may try to discredit the things you do. It could be online, could be in person. Okay. Um, and, uh, there may be some kind of group here that like they get in a group chat with other people and talk about you. Wow, this is people who don't have enough going on in their own life. Okay, they just don't. They don't have enough going on and you do not have time for this. And I'm getting like, if they're sending you like spell work, or even hate, evil eye, it's coming back tenfold to them. And if they do it again, times 10, times 10, it'll be increased tenfold every time they send energy to you that is negative or they try to send it through gossip. It doesn't have to be a magical work. It can be they sit around and talk about hating on you. They send you, they uh, give you, you know, the evil eye. They have uh, bad intentions with this gossip. Uh, I think for some of you guys, this person's going to get moderated on a group in some way. Okay. They may get kicked out uh, if you're in some kind of group. For others, their friends are going to start judging them for, uh, how they talk about you. Like, what is your obsession with this person? Why do you keep talking about them? You know, it's like the people around them they gossip to um, are going to get sick of hearing about it. <laughs> and they're going to get sick of it because they feel this power. They feel that you have the power to end situations, to end it. Okay. And they don't want nothing about it. They don't want nothing about that. Okay. Um, and for some of you guys, you know, you, you may not be aware of this because many times your guides take care of this kind of stuff, your guardians, whatever, take care of it before it ever even hits your energy. You're just being made aware of it today because you need to realize how powerful you are. Okay. You're causing things to end that are way outside your energy that can't even touch you. This person's going to have a tower moment, a moment of realization that, you cannot be fucked with. We have patchouli purpose. This is where you are. You're, you're working on your purpose. You're working on a bigger, bigger vision, a purpose for your life. Um, you may, you may be working on like finding a person and uh, having children. Uh, you may be working on getting married. For some of you guys, you're working on a business or a degree or something like that. It's different for different people, but you definitely have your energy immersed into something you're trying to manifest. I don't want to say try. I want to say you are because it feels like you guys are walking into your manifestations and you're focused on that. And meantime, you have this pest energy around you sending you hate. And now you're aware of that, like whatever protections you have done are working. It is keeping this energy at bay. And this reading is for you to be validated in that if you've done anything. If you're thinking about doing something, do it because it's going to end this uh, pest-like energy. It's going to put an end to it, and they're going to have a tower. A lot of people are going to recognize how powerful you are, and it's going to scare them, actually. We have impassive. And what I'm getting here is that nothing is going to come from this hate. Nothing's going to manifest. You're going to have no bad effects. However, they will. Okay? For some of you guys uh, who work in the craft, you need to look into mandrake. Okay? A mandrake root. All right? Um, and patchouli. Using those together. Let's get one more. And we have St. John's wort dispirited. Okay. I feel like uh, for some of you guys, you need to work with the St. John's wort. Um, and 
you know, I'm getting this person is going to be in this dispirited energy. They're going to be like highly disturbed. Um, they're going to get really angry. Um, and what's happening is the more angry they get, the more this ended energy, this return to sender energy uh, is going to increase until they recognize that their poor choices and bad behavior has brought about this kind of karmic situation for them where their tower is falling, where the people they gossip to, the friends they thought they had, the partner they thought they had, a lot of that's going to crumble. They're going to become more vulnerable because they need to be to become aware of their destructive energy that they send to other people because I feel like they send this kind of stuff to other people, the secret hate, but other people don't realize what's going on. You are aware and you are highly protected and highly favored and because of that you know they're getting the hate they send outwardly back on them and so they're having to deal with the ramifications of what that really looks like a lot of people are going to call them a liar they're going to call them out on their gossip they're going to be faced with it it's like humiliation uh, public humiliation it's like having to run and tuck tail kind of thing so all right let's get some um, letters and charms Hey, group three, these are your letters and your charm. So I got some information about this person. I feel like for some of you, this person has wished you well, has congratulated you on some kind of accomplishment or something you have been going through and overcome. They've been very um, supportive and congratulatory. Congratulatory. They've wished, they've wished you congratulations quite a lot. Um, and it's all a disguise to hide their energy. And some of you guys had a feeling when they congratulated you that there was something more there. And this is your validation of that. Okay, let's go through the letters. We have KXMBUFKWU. I get a fuck you there. FBTJAZEOJMINSTSD. G X I. Okay. For some of you guys, okay. I'm just telling you what I'm getting here. Um, for some of you guys, this person is going to end up with like, um, a like sexually transmitted disease an STD. Okay. Um, and it's just a manifestation of their, um, some of, some of these people have like a emotionally draining energy that, kind of uh, parasites when they hook up with somebody they're a little bit of have a little bit of like disempowered succubus energy where they they try to draw this energy from people but what they end up getting is kind of like manifestations of their own internal issues all right um and this is someone who um doesn't have a lot of respect for other people, so they don't respect themselves, so they don't really take care of themselves in ways that would prevent um, them from getting something like that, okay? Uh, I feel like this person's been very fake um, as well to some of you. Okay, I'm just getting a lot. There's so much guide energy right now going on around people, and I just feel like you're empowered. You know it. You know that you have guides around you. You're aware. You're aware of your power, uh, the powerful guides. I feel like you're aware of your own powerful guides, but for some of you, you need to get more comfortable with your own power. It's almost like you are ascending to a degree to the next level of your own self-empowerment, self-awareness. Um, if you do magic, you're, you're, you're becoming more powerful in your magic and in your protections. Um, and uh, this reading really is for you guys just to become aware that's what's happening. Like you have secret haters. You're maybe not aware of them. Some of you guys are, some of you aren't. Uh, because the magic, the manifestation, whatever protection work you've done has kept them at bay. Okay, so it's working. Keep doing it. Keep going. Don't give up. Don't let this energy like annoy you at all. It's like a fly, get a fly swatter and bat it out of the way. Your energy is too powerful to focus on this kind of stuff. You have bigger things for you to focus that energy on. I feel like you have major manifestations coming to you and it's just important that you don't let these petty distractions take you off your game because they're seriously not worth it. I'm getting like an egg cleanse. Some of you guys need to do like an egg cleanse. Uh, you can, you don't have to get real elaborate with it. You know, you just get an egg with the intention, you know, clear it, all that kind of stuff. 
charm it how you will and have the intention with the egg that the egg is going to basically absorb all the negativity being sent to you you kind of roll it all over your body uh, down to your feet and then you crack it in a glass of water and there's all sorts of ways to read the egg after it settles let it settle for a while I think about like 30 minutes or so let it settle and you can kind of see um, a lot of like different energies within that you can look that up and research it if you're not familiar if you are then you know you just need to do an egg cleanse and uh, you know get whatever uh, leftover energy may be lurking in your energy it will just help you be more clear in your focus as you go towards your purpose I feel like this person is just at a different place in their life and um, they're just acting out of their own sense of lack okay and they feel like you have it going on and you may feel like you know what I'm still a work in progress I got a long way to go you know but to them you look like you have it together and because of that they covet being you all right this person's definitely gonna have a tower in their own life so you know you get what you give kind of thing so all right, group three, that's what I got for you. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a most beautiful day. Subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff, and I'll see you beautiful, magical creatures next time. Bye, guys.